We're going to have much more on this right now. We're joined by Ibrahim Owis from Tampa, Florida. He's the former first undersecretary for economic affairs at the Egyptian government. Um, welcome to the show. Let me first start asking you, the folks that you're talking to, the experts there, talking about this violence and how it's being affected in terms of the, the markets and the businesses and the day-to-day -day business, how big of an impact is this? It is a very serious impact because economics and politics are two sides of the same coin. And therefore, if there is instability, it affects the country and it paralyzes the country from top, top to bottom, whether it is banking or uh, commercial uh, activities or exports and imports, uh, trade, any fact, any part of the economy is being seriously affected by the current situation. Had without um, uh, a road map for stability, I don't think that there is a possibility of uh, recovering soon. Having said that, this does not mean that the country lacks the resources in the future to be able to combat and to be able to come back. Uh, in the past, uh, Egypt had realized rates of growth. Uh, the, the, uh, the, latest the, latest report by, uh, the latest report by Barry Consulting has the CPI or the inflation at 10% last year, 12% this year in the foreseeable future. There's a real concern that as this violence continues in Egypt, it's going to start disrupting the supply chain. Once the supply chain Absolutely. is disrupted, there's a shortage of supply, and that's going to lead Absolutely. to another crisis. Price, yes, prices will go even, even higher. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, there is a fear of the hungry going around Egypt as a result of the current situation, uh, the current instability of the country. And that is why the interim government there in Egypt now wants to uh, set the situation in such a way that uh, the, all of the sit-ins and uh, therefore the government had initiated a martial law in order to be able to calm down the situation in spite of all of the people that are killed. Um, and b by the way, it is not really the army that killed uh, those people. It is the uh, the skirmishes with uh, the police. The police is in charge of law and order, and it is the police that uh, had ordered the people for a long period of time to disperse and to go to their homes and to uh, because the sit-ins had paralyzed the movement in Cairo, uh, had affected. Uh, seriously, uh, tourism, uh, and tourism is one of the major uh, sources of foreign exchange in Egypt, uh, besides, of course, all of the uh, investments coming in and out of Egypt. Uh, the, uh, once the situation is um, uh, finished with the sit-ins and so on and so forth, and the road map towards the realization of democracy in the future, uh, I think that the economy will rebound because there are right. major investments in I, the country. I, Ibrahim Owis, uh, I, I apologize. Uh, we're up against the, uh, the clock here. Joining us from Tampa, Florida, I want to thank you for your comments and, of course, wishing you and uh, the folks the very best. Uh, back there. And of course, I know you're keep, keeping a very close touch with there. And of course, we're going to continue to follow developments there. And of course, how it's affecting um, the economy as well. Thank you very much.